A very warm welcome to you at Sassano Wait on Tour in Mumbai. I'm thrilled to have with me Mr. Balaji Narayan Murthy, President and Head of Business Intelligence Unit at Access Bank. Thank you for joining us, Balaji. You're welcome, Kunal. Thank you very much. Balaji, you've been a leader of a very strong and mature analytics team at Access Bank. And you've seen the evolution of this space firsthand, going from gut driven to data driven, you know, ran right from statistics to now analytics and then AI. What are some of those key lessons that you have learned along the way? Sure, Kunal, that's a very uh, interesting question. Uh, I can, um, you know, I'll try and answer this uh, this way. Uh, if I were to do my journey again, uh, what, are, what is the one thing I, we got it right even the first time and I will still double down on. And similarly, if I were to do the journey again, what is something that the first time around we didn't do that well and I will double down on this time around because right. we didn't get it right. So in that two-part manner, the first thing that we uh, I would talk about is uh, being tightly integrated with the business. Uh, this was thankfully something that we got it right the first time as well. Right. Uh, we were uh, lucky and uh, I'm grateful to the bank and the organization for uh, sponsoring analytics in a significant way. We were within a business team in our initial years and hence were very tightly attached to the business cases and problem solving. And we started with solving one problem and then we expanded to another problem, a broader set of problems, and uh, over a period of time, went on to serve all businesses of the bank. But the core learning is being very tightly connected to a business problem and solving the business problem using sure. data. So I do it again and again and again. Now the second thing which uh, I think we didn't do that well, at least personally I didn't do that well, and if I were to get a second chance at it, mm -hmm. I would do it a uh, bit differently, is a greater focus on uh, data governance. Right. So given my background coming from the business side and analytics side, there was a lot of focus on analytics and cutting edge analytics and practices. But one thing I picked up along the way was the importance of data governance as a force multiplier mm -hmm. for the power of analytics, mm -hmm. as well as a must have, like given the regulation and uh, the other obligations that large enterprises have, uh, this is not negotiable in many ways, but uh, also for the young and aspiring analysts, it's not just about regulation, it's also force multiplier for the work you do. Oftentimes, I have seen that um, better quality data, more data, diverse data beats uh, better algorithms any day. Mm. So simple things like making sure the data quality is right, for those of you working in a bank, making sure your table adds up to the GL balance of that particular product for the bank. Uh, these are all very important and uh, these will go a long way in making you a successful and respected analyst within your organization. I'll pause okay. here, Kunal. No, thank you. Again, great insight there, uh, Balaji. Thank you for sharing uh, your experience there. Um, now, AI is clearly being talked about as the next big thing. You just referred to data governance. I would love to understand how you're thinking about AI and governance around it from a point of view of your team, you know, where you're trying to possibly empower them, but also creating a safe environment for them to do so. Yeah, so Kunal, empowering employees uh, is super important as part of this journey. Uh, one of the things that we have done, for example, is uh, the citizen data scientists. Like I was lucky in my formative years to have SAS as a tool. It, now that I think back about it, uh, it unleashed uh, quite a bit of power in my hand for me to do the things that uh, I did and hence learn. Okay. So empowering employees in that sense, part of it is giving them the right tools mm -hmm. and the enabling infrastructure so that uh, they can do 100 experiments and learn. Sure. Um, and similarly, the broader organization, in our organization, uh, we have 20,000 people who have SaaS via access and another 20,000 who have Power BI. So uh, everyone should be able to explore data in their own space and time and let a thousand flowers boom, bloom. Uh, so these are two broad and the culture of, uh, so one is tools mm -hmm. and uh, being able to, and do it in a, the tools enable you to do it in a large scale as well as in a governed manner. Right. Governance is important. You don't want people interpreting the same data differently. And yeah. these tools allow you to do 
So while still letting thousand flowers bloom, the right kind of flowers and uh, the, not the wrong kind of flowers. So you can ensure that. And the last piece I would say is enabling role of culture. Uh, so you enable your teams to make the decisions provided it fits in within an analytic or data driven framework. Right. So that enables you to push down decision making, uh, that enables you to empower your employees to uh, take more decisions uh, across the board, provided they are able to demonstrate that power of that decision uh, through the use of uh, data and how they are arriving at it. Well, thank you so much, Balaji. I think I love the fact that you're trying to now democratize um, tools as well as analytics in a, in a sense, as well as AI now going forward. So um, thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for sharing your reflections, your thoughts and lessons that you have learned along the way. Thanks, Kunal. Uh, thanks to you and the SaaS team for uh, having me over here. Thank you very much.